The background to this is that I got it for Christmas and I started it almost immediately. Then stuff happened and I had to put it all away half done. Which means you'll see the inevitable coming long before I did because I've only just got it out again and got back to it. But yeah, it's inevitable. I was just about to start talking and the dishwasher kicked off. Never mind. Look what Father Christmas brought me. One of these. Model kit number 16203, white, by ICM. New in the best. Ah, uh, what did I do with theirs recently? Don't know. Anyway, here he is, looking horrible. Mm, doing bad things with the light here, aren't I? Anyway, there he is, looking, oh, that's better. Looking horrible, and we're in the kitchen again. You can probably guess why, it's Christmas day. And I've just filled the dishwasher. Uh, he is one sixteenth scale. Nice. Um, I have to say, it's a, a big box. I've looked in already. And uh, the contents aren't that colossal. But there we go. So that's it. Don't know what to say. <laughs> it's a very well crafted model by the look of it. We've got some nice hideous detail and stuff uh, and a big base. But there's not a lot there, is there? there we go. And then, really interestingly, you get this, which is rather nice. Don't scold him, we will replace everything. Really? Oh, what can you say about that? Lovely dog. Anyway, there we go. Uh, oh, the light. That's our, that's our parts, that's it. And the base. Don't really need a base. And then a picture. Which I have to say, it's totally good box art. But don't waste your money, I'm alright cutting the box out. So there we go. Right, let's spray him as it all goes back in the box. So a uh, bit of paint, very dark brown, the usual, my now trademark dark brown, which I want to use as like the base coat. You can see the difference between the axe and the arm and rib cage. And uh, so what I've done is I've overlain a thin layer of a slightly lighter brown because I want this being to um, look like he's a sun-dried something or other basically um, and have that really leathery look. I'm then going to sort of bring up a bit of highlighting with an even paler brown and probably glossy to give it that slightly waxy, fatty quality that sun-dried um, beings, unfortunate beings, can often get. Uh, which I seem to be talking from experience. There's there's a reasonable amount of varied roadkill around here, so <laughs> so yeah, there is a bit of experience. Uh, and that's the aim. So. Uh, I think it might be time to glue some of this together. Right, a few bits glued together and at this point we can say as we have seen with some of these figures from less famous companies they can be very gappy. See the cardboard below shining through. Uh, obviously a great dollop of filler will do that fine. The irony is this bloke's wearing a weird sort of shirt that's uh, a front piece and a back piece but open at the sides so it's not as if that would get covered up. And I like his rib cage so much I'm probably not going to put the front piece on. 
here's the slightly painted top half of our ghastly man uh, and he's come out just how I want him leathery light and dark brown colours um, bit of a sheen to him so he's alright lower half, a little bit too shiny uh, but that's not a problem because I've got to do more highlighting to both anyway so that will start to clear up and a uh, bit of paint work on some of the other parts I've realised this is the back of his shirt he's got a metal plate uh, and a leather strap that holds the shirt and the plate on and that won't work without the front part so the front shirt's going on need to do a bit of detail on the buckle and stuff uh, he's got this kind of almost loincloth with a bit of leather um, a bit of mail there and I've gone over with the metal colour onto the belt that'll be alright, sort that out the other side he's got this so there's a sense of Roman armour about him TV loves the Roman style armour and it loves one shoulder on, one shoulder off kind of thing at least we get two shoulders that's a marvel and a few other bits and pieces, bits of hand to go on there's his axe, that needs a little bit more work so there he is coming together. Uh, I think at this point I can glue his torso together uh, or glue it onto his hips and legs um, and possibly put the axe on because I need to start doing some highlighting and weathering um, like all in one otherwise it's all it's not going to work is it. So that's the next step a bit more gluing, a bit more highlighting We've come to the point where um, I probably need to do a little bit of paintwork on on the fella just to even him all out and then the final bits will probably all go on at the s Oh, where's his head? What did I do? His head came off didn't it? I put it in a jiffy bag and I put it somewhere Where's your head, mate? I think they do walk around without heads, don't they? But I'd like to see him with a head on. What have we done with your head? Mm.